Hello everybody and welcome. The point has been updated. Please check it on the map. Yeah, in this day I was... I didn't know what to do about flying where I was, where I'm going to fly and, and I decided to fly to fly near where I live or almost near and I took the, the Phantom 3 and go out here I'm trying to to make the right color temp the right color temperature I'm not used to do this and I'm trying to put as much natural as I can I can get not too cold not too hot uh, it's the Kelvin scale if I if I am saying right and um, I'm adjusting here the the frame rates and resolution of the video and of course the camera in manual mode I'm going to calibrate the drone ok, let's rotate it this way first then we put the nose down camera down and rotate like this without metal objects here for not causing interferences on the compass ok, it's ready to fly I think yeah, I'm just checking the settings if everything is ok format the SD cards Ok, formatted, formatted I'm going to take, a, take off from the hands Because there's a lot of stuff in here, this round Let's go A lot of noise I start the recording in 4K and let's go to see how far can I go here ok, let's pass this road only one car was passing by ok, let's go this way and what the hell happened? the camera just restarted and the recording have stopped but in the in the app it said it's still recording no it's not recording anymore let's press record again and instead of recording in 4k as it was the settings it it jumps to 60 frames per second 180p Full HD and auto camera auto I think but when I was flying I didn't notice that and I just continue the flight ok this is trees and nothing special on the bottom of the of the drone if it falls it falls on the trees ok there's a circus there let's check the circus the statue of King Christ on, on upper left and uh, the bridge the river at the right the soccer field at the right and the circus mounted on this place where I sometimes start the flights with my drones and most of the, the bebop drones I started from here, the first flights and, and in, indeed was the fir my first flight with the drone outside was in, 
on that place where the circus is now. Okay, nice view. South center. Let's turn around and record this place with the circus. I don't know the name of the circus. The drone distance is about 900 meters, almost one kilometer distance. It's not too much. It's uh, it's not so so distance, but I am having starting to have some interferences, of course, because this is a urban area, and there's a lot going on. Wi-Fi signals, radio signals, whatever. You name it. Okay, let's see how far can I go without losing connection. Let's proceed. No interferences. The, the image is jumping on the app. Surface train there. Surface metro, okay. So we're past one kilometer and almost a half kilometer. One and a half. One uh, kilometer and five hundred meters. And the image is breaking up and, and break. Connection lost. It's returning home. And the uh, name is return. <coughs> so the connection was lost at one kilometer and four hundred and ninety six meters distance. 1,049... 1,496 meters in this area Okay, nice view Here's the Peace, Peace Park The lake And is returning in full speed. I am down far away, waiting for the white thing to appear. White flying machine. Stop going home. The phantom. Let's take a look at here. Here I am just messing up with the brightness settings of the camera. Experimenting, just experimenting. And returning home at the same time. I don't know, but I like to fly over cities with the Phantom. I don't know why. More than the other drones. Feels like a, a, a big truck or something, I don't know. It's another different way, feeling of flying with the Phantoms. 
okay, I'm almost reaching composition. Everything looks so small and near each other from the air, seen from the air. It's another perspective. Cemetery here, commercial center there, the park, and so on. And the city where I live for 35 years, more, <laughs> just kidding more than 35 years I'm older than that okay. sometimes I just want to fly and film something and and I've got nothing more to film here. I think I have filmed everything here in this city where I live. I always try to come up with something new. Uh, for example, this corner I never, I never filmed this this place, this little little place. There's a, a small industrial zone up up ahead. I never filmed, I think. Sometimes I feel like I am living in an island. Take a look at that, we are surrounded with water everywhere. It's like an island, but it's not. You can see Lisbon at the left corner, up, up left corner, you can see Lisbon. It's on the other side of that river. Okay. I think it's time to start the landing or something. Getting it down. And filming at the same time the last minutes of it. Let's go a little more fly a little more over the trees here just for fun okay return home now Going 30 meters? I don't know. Okay. This is when it returns home, it returns very fast. Here am I. Down there. Hello. These drones makes a lot of noise. A lot of presence in the air. Can you see here the rolling shutter effect on the on the screen? because of the shadow of the blades you, you can take it out by using a handy filter on the lens when you are recording 
I didn't have one yet. So let's fly here. Hello, flight. Round. Uh, the ND4, just the ND4 is, is enough. You can use any other filters, but the ND4 is enough to. Whoa. To take out the, the shadow shadows of the blades in the lens causing that that sh shutter effect or whatever the name rolling shutter that's the name I think let's go through this valley little valley okay just flying around and training in small spaces and low and low here am I okay okay let's catch land on the hands catch with the hands the phantom there's a lot of dirt on the ground and I don't want to The dirt on the air, you know, on inside the motors and the drone. Okay, thank you for watching. Subscribe if you want. Bye for now.